Thank you, all of you who have fasted, and I encourage all of you to eat according to the dietary teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, I know that the Quran gives us the foods to eat. This is a true book, a good book. However, it also teaches us that Allah is going to raise a messenger. Now listen carefully and teach, teach him Al-Kitab, the book. What is this Quran called? The book. Not only will he teach him the book, but he'll teach him the wisdom. What is that? If this is a book full of wisdom and he's going to teach him the book and then and he's going to teach him the wisdom, mm, then he's going to teach him the Torah and the gospel. So when you represent the Messiah, you have to speak from all of the revealed words of God that bear witness to the truth that the messenger will bring. He says the messenger will not only open the eyes of the blind by God's permission, make the deaf hear and the dumb speak by Allah's permission, but he will raise the dead to life by Allah's permission. Now anytime a human exercises the power that is only relegated to God, Allah, one of Allah's names in the Quran is the giver of life. Another one of Allah's names is the raiser of the dead. Now if Allah gives life and can raise the dead and a human born of a woman opens the eyes of the blind not by his own power but by Allah's permission makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak by Allah's permission raises the dead to life by Allah's permission then Allah has put his spirit in that man mm. Then it says, he will teach them what foods to eat and what foods to store in their houses. Well, this Quran is full of teaching on food. But this messianic figure will go beyond the Quran and teach you what foods to eat and what foods to store in your house as a complement to what is written in the book.